Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Guys, before we get started, a huge support on the football discussion video. Really appreciate that you guys are down to watch that content because to be honest with you guys, uh, the main reason why I'm into the whole content creation scene in general is because of the whole football thing, right? I love this sport a lot, uh, so FIFA is kind of like a gateway to kind of get into it. But as you guys know, FIFA is one of those types of games for me right now. So it's really nice that you guys were able to uh, enjoy the football discussion video. But for today, we have the SBC Boateng card, which to be fair, looks pretty nice for a card that is only one squad. Uh, the reason why he's one squad is obviously because of the national links as well as the club links. But... EA have kind of one-upped the SBC because they put the crown on his head, right? So the crown makes this SBC pretty sick because it gives you those green links to your Bundesliga players if you guys use those types of players because Bundesliga is usually like not the craziest in FIFA, but you know. Uh, anyways, six foot one, high, high work rates, right footed, five star skills, five star weak foot. Yes, this card does originally play in the cam position. Do I think people will use him in the actual cam position? Yes and no, maybe. I mean, here's the thing, guys. The card is a six foot one player with a high and average body type. So that body type, that height, that's more ideal to use in the defensive position because take a look at how this card is formatted on the shadow chemistry style. Defensive stats are massively increased considering the fact that he has the high, high work rates. He has really, really good pace stats. And when it comes to the player traits on the card, if they touch anything... I actually gave him the outside foot shot trade. Does he have that from before? So the same things, five and five again. So nothing added there, but he's still five star, five star. That's actually really helpful because look at his shooting stats. His shooting stats is nuts. Okay, so on a shadow chemistry style for this card, he's going to be working with 96 acceleration, 99 sprint speed with really good defensive capabilities. Uh, agility and balance will be on the lower side for this card. But that's just something that you would work with anyways, because the body type that he has will actually be very helpful for defensive situations, right? So shooting being in the area that it's at is fantastic. Uh, passing in the area that it's at is really nice too. Five star weak foot, 99 composure is great. Uh, defensive stats will be massively increased with the shadow chemistry style. And then for defensive capabilities, when it comes to the physical side of things, he's in a very good area too, because of the body type and height that he has. So the card looks great. Looking forward to trying him out. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the SBC, and I'll show you guys how we line up in game. Sheesh. See, the crown? The crown makes a difference. They got to do that to these players, man. I don't know why they don't. Some cards, they don't put the crown on them. I'm like, come on, man. Because, like, look, let me give you guys in a situation. So, obviously, if I didn't have So, by the way, So is a really good player. But if I wanted to do this, I get green links to both Danny DeCosta and Royce. Boom, that's a crazy link I can work with there. So, the crown makes that difference. They should just do it to all the players, to be honest with you. But anyways, uh, in-game guys will be using the 4-1-2-1-2, playing him. This is a really good balance, or almost a really good balance, almost. Probably have to get like Hazard instead of Coleman, but that was on a other guy's account. So we're just going to leave it as so, because uh, I'm not going to try to grind for that, you know? Uh, <laughs> with Boateng, we're going to have him on the cover center getting to the boxes across instruction, playing with that five-star weak foot and stuff. So should be interesting i do expect his shooting animation to be slower but we'll see we'll see hopefully he's a beast man oh wish coleman kind of pushed in a little bit more there oh tank did well initially no No! He has a little bit of a um, physical side to him for sure. Like when you're trying to like push left and right, playing as a center mid. I do prefer like more agile players, of course, but I don't mind it with him because it being the more physical side, honestly, it's actually gonna be very helpful for like the defensive side of things, right? Or if I want to use them as like a left mid, right mid to push forward, come back. Pretty well weighted, to be fair. Wasn't bad. Oh, unlucky.
The jam! <laughs> First time, too close to the goalkeeper. We gotta do some extra stuff there. But I like that he makes the run there. That's really nice. I don't know. I, I like that his uh, shooting animation didn't take too long there. I like that it didn't take too long. That's good. Ace card stats for shooting being really high is obviously gonna be super helpful for those. Eesh. Little ball roll scoop. So you see his running style, it's not as agile, it's more strong. That one at white time, but you can see that his transition to take the shot is not as long. Tony Kroos usually, usually hits them like longer. Well, at least he wins the ball in the air. Always nice to have the height and the physical for that type of stuff, you know? Yeah, that one's coming off of that touch, and it's faced completely upwards, so those are just not going to be consistent. Oh, Prince wasn't even controlling him there. Free kick! Let's go, baby. Is he any good at them? Oh, free kick accuracy is not the craziest, so... You know what time it is, my boy? Shot across goal! Oh, he missed. No timing, though, right? It's always going to be that inconsistency behind that. Also, it's a drag touch. Not a high percentage strike in FIFA. Ooh, let's go, Prince. Well done, my boy. Thank you, sir. Oh, almost. Nice try. Oh, and that was on a white, too. Free kick. Did a good uh, defensive play there, too. I gotta try this. Oh. See, more, more physical, right? So you gotta be more careful with that. You can even see that he actually had like a restrictive uh, animation from moving forward there. Which, again, guys, is not a big deal. It's just... Remember, he's not gonna feel as agile, right? Oh, I tried to catch him twice on it. That's offside. Why they make those offside runs, I couldn't tell you, bro. Nice, good goal. See? So that's where you have to be more careful in that center mid area. He does have more of a physical feel to him, right? So he could be the more ideal, like, stay back type of player. Unless you give him, like, an engine to improve that part of the card. But that's always going to be a thing, right? Oh, manual keeping, eh? And that's the sucky part is when you have to you have to worry about time finishing and manual goalkeeping illogical oh i had the one guy there though unlucky did well enough there interception Ah, try to get the uh, the green time for the near post. I was pretty lucky. <laughs> I was pretty lucky. He has 85 penalties. I'm going to go right side and I go left side. Nice. Even at CDM, his height's kind of helpful for those types of situations. Like, I get blocked, but I still have, like, the reach to get the ball back, you know? Ooh, 
white time shot on that one. Switch off of him here, see him go back into the CDM position. And block these guys here. Back in there. Imagine not passing to Royce right there. Oh, unlucky. It's a good pass though again. A for efforts, my boy. A for efforts. No, that's my fault. But I got it back. The meta! Whoa! So exciting! Thank you, Prince. Nice. No! We're good. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Kevin Prince Boatang card. So, uh, yeah, this is a WSBC. I don't mind the price of it at all uh, for what he offers in game. It's definitely one of those uh, stay back while attacking cover center type players if you're playing like a 4 4 2, 4 2 3 1. Um, if you play a 3 4 2 1, like that type of stuff, that's going to be his most ideal instruction. Now, the only thing that you're going to have to work with with this card when it comes to the way that he performs on the pitch is that he has that physical feel to him. But obviously, when it comes to his pace splits and the way that it kind of works in game, that acceleration works with his body type a certain way where he doesn't feel like the most agile when it comes to after like chasing after people. But obviously, in certain situations, the height, the interceptions that he does, tackles that he does, physical presence that he has, it compensates well for it. Now, generally speaking, is it better than a card like Jude Bellingham's Team of the Season card? No, the Team of the Season card is still amazing. Jude Bellingham is a full meta card 100%. Um, I really believe that with cards in FIFA, some of them just kind of have that it factor in the beginning that when they get transferred over to upgraded versions, it's just insane. It depends on the card sometimes, right? Uh, but Boateng, obviously for 72k, is a great SBC, and the reason being for this is because he has the crown on his head for a car that has high, high work rates, five-star, five-star capabilities, a car that can push forward and come back really nicely and offers you those different types of links. So for me personally, I still think the SBC is a W. I think he performs really well in game. Honestly, a midfield setup of using Boateng, So and Bellingham right next to him wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing to work with. So obviously in my case, if I wanted to work with a triple link setup, I could just put Boateng over here. Boom, I'm good with Royce. I'm good with Danny DaCosta. But if you have the Soul card, which was a great SBC at the time period too, I told you guys, definitely worth doing. Um, this SBC card still gives me the links that I require in that, in that triple link setup. But like I said, because they have the crown over their head, it makes the SBC worth it. The crown is a, a huge variable. Like Lacroix, for instance, like I'll, get, I'll, I'll show you guys the Lacroix card. So... It's not that the card is terrible. It's not a terrible card. It's not the most amazing, obviously, right? Like I mentioned in the review. But 123k for this guy is worth it if you got the crown on your head to give you those links, right? That's a huge, huge variable to work with. But unfortunately, they didn't give it to him. They did give it to Kevin Prince. So for 70 something k to give you that midfield link up uh, is a very, very cool thing to have. So who's better than who it just depends like i'm not going to compare guerrero to boateng because guerrero is obviously more agile with his five star skills and stuff uh obviously he's not going to have the physical presence but he's going to feel more responsive in game um i do feel like defensively so is still 100 percent the better card this is an absolutely great card to put in that cdm position even if you want to regardless of the fact that he has the high high work rates um so over that defensively no so is still better uh, attacking wise Guerrero with the, the ag agility is nice, but Kevin Prince Boateng, you just have to work with the dribbling a little bit. Uh, and then there was another card too. Jude Belling Bellingham is also really is better too. So, um, but again, because he has the crown, it all, it adds a huge variable to the cards to give you those link ups. Like I could switch my left side if I want to, cause two already gets the links that I need. You know what I mean? Like just stuff like that is very cool. So 
Good job adding the crown. If you guys didn't add the crown, I'd be like, ah, it's still a good SPC, 70k, but you have to have Bundesliga players. Not a variable anymore. You can work with the green link. So good stuff. Uh, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, guys, thank you guys so much for support on the football discussion videos. It definitely means a lot to me. Um, you guys are the best. I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.